Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about things to consider when talking about sensor accuracy. So there are four things that I think are pretty important when it comes to how accurate your sensor reading is going to be. So the first and the most obvious is the sensor's rated accuracy and speed. So in the data sheet it'll usually tell you plus or minus a value or a percentage and then the refresh rate, meaning how often that value refreshes the output of the sensor. The second most important thing to me when considering how accurate your readings are going to be is the analog to digital converter resolution. Now these are the three most common flavors of ADCs. So an 8-bit analog to digital converter is going to give you 2 to the 8th power which is 256 values. A 10-bit ADC is going to give you 1024 values and a 12-bit ADC is going to give you 4096 values. So the higher your ADC resolution Resolution, the more precise your output is going to be. The next thing to consider is analog to digital converter range matching. So you want your sensor's output range, usually a voltage, most commonly 0 to 5 volts. You want to match that to the analog to digital converter input range, which a lot of common uh, Arduino and other power controllers have an input range of 0 to 5, but not all of them do. Some of them have strange, you know, 1, one to 4 volt uh, input ranges so you want to match that with circuitry. The last thing you want to consider is microcontroller speed and throughput. So the faster your microcontroller is the less likely it is to miss a reading from your sensor. So if you have a really fast sensor but have a slow microcontroller you're going to miss readings there. If you have two microcontrollers with the same speed one might do more per cycle with that speed so that's something you also want to consider. The throughput is also important. So let's go over an example here. Let's say we have a pressure sensor with an input of 0 to 1000 psi that outputs 0 to 5 volts corresponding with the 0 to 1000 psi with an accuracy of plus or minus 0.5 psi. With the 8-bit analog to digital converter we're going to go from 0 to 1000 psi to 0 to 5 volt DC down to 0 to 255. That gives us a resolution of 3.91 psi. With the 10-bit we get 0.98 psi and with the 12-bit we get 0.24 psi. So as you see the larger resolution of the analog to digital converter gives us a really nice precise output. So as long as you're below the accuracy of your sensor you've pretty much you're as good as you can get. It doesn't make sense to get a high resolution analog to digital converter if you're already below the accuracy of your sensor. So let's say you took that same exact pressure sensor and you knew ahead of time that your max measurement was only going to be 500 psi. So with that same sensor we were just looking at 0 to 500 psi correlates to 0 to 2.5 volts DC. So what you can do if you want to increase the precision and accuracy of your setup when you're only using a part of the sensor's range, you want to match the output range you're interested in with the input range of the analog to digital converter. And you usually use an instrumentation amplifier. So we'll take this setup here and turn it into 0 to 500 psi correlating with 0 to 5 volts DC. That'll give us, with a 10-bit analog to digital converter, a 0.49 psi resolution. This is within the range of our sensor's accuracy, so there wouldn't be a need for a 12-bit ADC. Okay guys, well, I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you next time.